Hi, New Britain. Welcome to our first edition of a quick video version of our District Dispatch District Magazine. We're going to do these every once in a while just to bring you up-to-date news and happenings in, in the school district, and I'm happy to have this chance to talk to you. So the purpose of these talks will just be to share uh, news, both good and, and some things that we're working on to make sure that you're as up-to-date up as possible. So first of all, I had a chance to attend some really nice events this week. Um, we did the groundbreaking for the construction project at Home School. I want to say thank you to the mayor and to the city government officials that were there, the Board of Education officials that were there, the um, Holmes uh, administrators that were also there. It was a really nice event to break ground. That's, that'll be two years of construction until we open up a new home school. It'll be wonderful, I'm sure. I was also privileged to recognize two of our staff members at Gaffney School. If you read the district dispatch, you know that I give a recognition that we call the superintendent's challenge coin. It was a, a wonderful privilege to present two of our paraeducators at Gaffney School with challenge coins for the actions they took when, when a student there had a medical emergency. It, it, it's always such a wonderful thing to be out in the schools and recognize our wonderful staff. So look for that in the upcoming version of our magazine. I want to say thank you to lots and lots of parents that came out to our school's open houses. I've spoken with many of our principals and they're, they're really thankful for how many of uh, you, the parents and the families, uh, made time to go and see the school and visit with teachers. Um, we also had a wonderful ribbon cutting at the new playground at Lincoln School. Again, thanks to cooperation from Mayor Stewart and city government, we were able to reopen the playscape at Lincoln. It's beautiful and the kids loved it. Make sure you, that you see the videos of that on our uh, social media feeds. Also, uh, I spend as much of my time as I can visiting schools. Um, it, I do a planned visit uh, three times a year to each of our 20 schools. This week I visited Smalley, New Britain High School, and Vance School. Thank you to the administrators, the teachers, and the students who welcomed me to those classes. It's my goal each year to visit somewhere between 160 and 220 classrooms, and I'm starting that process now. It's always wonderful to, to see our kids and teachers at work. To wrap up, you know, for, for reasons really beyond our control, we've had uh, a little bit of a stressful week for sure. It's been stressful for, for you, the parents and families I know, for students and staff, and, and certainly for, for staff here at, um, at the district office. We know that these um, online vague threats have been circulating across the state for, for two to three days now. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to the students who did the right thing. Students who brought these threats to the attention of a staff member, that's critical and it's absolutely the right thing to do. I want to let all the staff members and the parents know and family members know that we will always take those seriously. Even if we're, we're, we're pretty sure that it's nothing, that it's vague, it doesn't matter. We will uh, enlist the help of our good partners um, at the New Britain Police Department. We're very thankful um, to Chief Marino and the support of his staff. We will always use that methodology to make sure that a threat is not specific and not truly dangerous to our schools. So I hope you take the time to make sure that your contact information is up to date because we send out live updates to families, oftentimes still while those situations are happening, just to make sure that you are as informed as possible. So thank you for your patience on that. Thank you for trusting us. Um, Thank you for continuing to get your kids to school, even though we know it might feel a little bit anxious during those times. I want to assure you that, that we really do take those matters seriously. None of them are dismissed without being investigated, um, most especially investigated with our, our good partners at the New Britain Police Department. So that's it for today's first edition of the video edition of the District Dispatch. Thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to talking to you again in the future.